This year marks the 50th anniversary of the tumultuous events of 1968, when an unprecedented wave of revolt broke out in multiple countries around the world, sending a collective shiver down the spines of the ruling class. This was arguably the closest that humanity has ever come to a global revolution, and the reverberations of this shock lasted well into the next decade, as capitalists scrambled to restructure the international economy and states passed a series of reforms aimed at desperately reasserting their legitimacy. While there were many different local factors and a wide cross-section of participants to the riots of 68, a recurring theme was the leading role played by a generation of insurgent youth fed up with the alienation and misery of everyday life under capitalism. Some of the most iconic scenes of 68 played out in Paris, where tens of thousands of university and high school students took to the streets, erected barricades, and fought pitched street battles with the cops. Inspired by the bravery and uncompromising militancy of these youth, millions of workers joined the fray, launching the biggest wildcat strike in history and nearly toppling the French state in the process. Students also played a key role in kicking off protests that year in Italy, Spain, West Germany, Sweden, Poland, Yugoslavia, Mexico, Brazil, Colombia, Argentina, Jamaica, and the United States. Five years later, students at the Athens Polytechnic played a decisive role in toppling the fascist military junta in Greece. Sadly, the revolutionary upsurge of the 60s and 70s was ultimately put down, and is now confined to the annals of history. But student unrest has persisted, and today it continues to play a key role in fomenting political crises and articulating broader critiques of capitalism and the state. 